I'm Mitch Tonks. I run uh, some restaurants on the south coast, uh, the Seahorse in Dartmouth and the Rockfish restaurants, which are based in Plymouth, Torquay and Dartmouth. One of the um, cheeses that we use a lot in the, in the Seahorse restaurant is burrata. Now we ship it in from Puglia, where it's traditionally made. And I discovered that at uh, Laverstoke Farm they were making mozzarella and uh, asked them whether they could actually make burrata for us. I think it's really important that the Pullman chefs get out and see the producers. So we've sent Paul Ellis, who is one of the greatest chefs on the Pullman, off to uh, Laverstoke Park Farm to see how the burrata is made. So how many buffalo have you got to bring in now then? Uh, there's only about 100 up here. Only? <laughs> yeah. My name's Paul Ellis, and I'm a Pullman chef. I'll just let you take the lead, okay? Yeah. <laughs> My background is West Country, born and bred. I was born in Plymouth, grew up in Plymouth, and I'll probably stay in Plymouth because it's a beautiful place to live. It's, uh, it's a bit different when you're looking at them from behind a fence rather than right next to them. They're so beautiful. Yeah, they are beautiful animals. Today we're in Laverstock Park Farm in Hampshire because we have on our menus at work a buffalo mozzarella called burrata. Buffalo cheese is beautiful. The consistency, um, the freshness of it is absolutely superb. And we've come here today to see where it comes from. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. She is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. She's quite affectionate, isn't she? Ah, oh, she loves it. <laughs> Hello. Our mozzarella is an artisan cheese. When we get the milk in, we test the milk. When we put it in the vet, we monitor the temperature, we monitor the pH. When we try it, we taste it, we smell it, we feel it. So our product is made by hand by a person. It's a world-class cheese. It's like how you would find a product in Italy. And because it's made in Hampshire, it doesn't travel very far. So you're going to get the best product you can possibly get. It's certainly higher in vitamins and minerals because the cow has a very slow digestive system compared to a dairy cow. So it absorbs more nutrients out of the food. Because it's twice the fat and twice the protein, it's slightly sweeter. I would say the sweetness is probably the main difference. Right, so you're going to take me through the process of yeah. what you do to make the burrata, yes? Okay, so you take some mozzarella, then I put it in a, my little basket, and then I take my pasta, a bit of cream in there, then I lift it up, fold it together, Make sure that it stays closed, otherwise you have the cream. It's just going to pour, it, pour out, And yeah. then I put it in the water to cool down. Okay. So how many of these do you make on a daily basis then? If I work really fast, I can make about 50. Okay. But it's pushing it. So are we the only people that use this, this At the product? moment I only make it for you because I don't have time to make it for anybody else. So we're quite privileged as a company then to be using this. You are. <laughs> you are. The preparation process for the burrata is, is a very simple process. It comes to us in, in, in a ball and we quarter that. On the plate we place it on a bed of beetroot, season it with, with pepper. We have walnut halves which we chop down very finely and sprinkle over the top. And then it's olive oil and then it goes out to the customer. So that's quite nice. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely dish. Uh, I've just had a beetroot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> What's great for me as a cheesemaker is that I have a client that appreciates my cheese, which means that I make it for them fresh and it's going to go to the customer in a perfect state. So I make it on a Tuesday and it's on the train on a Wednesday, which is wonderful. That's how I want my cheese to be seen. So it's for me very important to have a to make a product that I make with my hands, with love and with passion, and it's get eaten by a customer because the chef understands how this product should look and taste like. 
to be able to bring a skill from Italy, produce it from buffalo milk in our countryside, I think it's just fantastic. And I mean, to be able to eat that exclusively on the train is like, wow, you know, can't get anywhere else. You know, it's brilliant. I just love being able to provide dishes that, that you can really enjoy. It's just one of the best feelings that you can get.